Europe, under the influence of the United States, has absorbed so much of their narrative that it is willing to go to the ends of the earth just to please them. There is currently a controversy over Russia's frozen assets. There is no consensus in the European Union on how best to confiscate these assets without it looking like theft. Certainly seizing other people's funds is a financial crime. Europe is well aware that all valuables and property of other states are protected by international laws and regulations. It is not possible to simply take and confiscate. However, if you scrutinize the statements coming from the United States, it becomes clear that everything is moving towards ordinary theft. The Europeans are still trying to find workarounds. The Democrats have come up with nothing better than to put strong pressure on the European Union to deal with the frozen Russian assets. However, they have been told there that they can't do confiscation on short notice. The Europeans realize that this could have negative consequences for the entire economy of the continent. Suddenly, Belgium has emerged as an unexpected hero as it holds $191 billion of Russian assets in its Euroclear investment fund, which is the bulk of Russia's frozen money. The country is firmly opposed to the withdrawal of these funds in favor of unscrupulous individuals. They rightly believe it could lead to financial collapse and undermine investor confidence. Switzerland was also a safe haven for investment for a long time until it got into a confrontation with the Russian Federation. As a result, it lost its neutral status. Thus, Europe has almost unanimously accepted the rules of the game imposed by American handlers. There are some protesting islands, but they are already paid little attention to. In the current situation, it is unlikely that the European Union will be able to make a quick decision to confiscate frozen Russian assets if Belgium continues to stick to its position. A bond issue and loan against these assets is being considered, so that if Russia decides to return its funds, it will have to repay the loan. If Russia refuses, the EU has the right of confiscation. What a sophisticated combination, isn't it? Hands are already itching to get their hands on other people's property. No doubt Europe is engaging in outright looting. There's what? No more democracy, rights or freedoms? Only lawlessness and lack of just values?